Welcome to Flight Club, your nutritious bowl of drone goodness. Hey, you under that there rock, GoPro have revealed they're set to launch their own quadcopter. As the rest of you will know, Chief Executive Nick Woodman announced the news at California's Code Conference, and it's expected to hit the skies by July next year. Sadly, he didn't mention anything about flight times. In fact, he didn't say much about it at all, but I found out the prices that are projected, and they are around $500 to $1,000. But they also said that's subject to change. Obviously, you can already clamp a GoPro onto a drone, and obviously, drone companies have their own cameras. But this move could see the action camera big dogs become the go-to one-stop shop for all things flying imagery. Will this upset the drone brands that currently fit GoPro mountings? Well, yeah. In fact, DJI are already saying that the new version of their best-selling Phantom will only come with a DJI camera. Looks like the two are set to be the Apple and Microsoft of the drone world. All we know is we're really excited to see what this drone has to offer. A US senator has called for stricter regulation of drone use after a passenger jet approaching New York's LaGuardia airport had to climb 200 feet to avoid a collision with a drone. Thankfully, the plane went on to land safely with no reported injuries. As the drone was flying at 2,700 feet and close to an airport, it was already breaking FAA rules. But it seems that for some, those rules are just too easy to break. Because of what could have happened, the incident has prompted Senator Charles Schumer to call for all drones sold in the US to be fitted with technology restricting where they can and can't fly. So it looks like it may become impossible to crash your drone into an American plane. Or the plane from any country, really. Our next section is things that get hit by drones first. This guy from a Memorial Day parade in Marblehead, Massachusetts. The FAA launching an investigation after this drone crashed into a crowd at the Memorial Day Parade in Marblehead. I was just following it and saw it start to get close to one of the buildings and it hit the side and crashed and bounced off a couple people on the way down. Second is probable fan and friend of the show, Enrique Iglesias. Enrique has a drone fly around his gigs to provide crowd footage. Sometimes he grabs it as it flies over the stage. Smart move! At a recent concert in Tijuana, as one of his entourage rather understatedly told Rolling Stone magazine, something went wrong and he had an accident. Well, yes, that's one way to put it. Another way might be that he grabbed something sharp and bled everywhere. As I would if it were my gig, he carried on with the show for another half an hour, reportedly daubing a heart across his t-shirt with his blood-soaked bandage. That's pretty rock and roll, Enrique. Pretty rock and roll. And third is this bird. Well, technically the bird hits the drone, but I wanted to show it. Now in a thrilling finale to this week's episode, people looking at animals. Off the west coast of the US and Canada, biologists have been using a hexacopter to observe whales in a hope to better understand how environmental conditions are affecting the population. Wayne Perryman, leader of the Cetaceans Health and Life History Program, which is difficult to say, told me that they use the APH-22 built by Don Leroy of Aerial Imaging Solutions. Launching from a boat and tracking the position of the ground station so it can return to the site of a moving platform, it cruises with a 300 gram camera for just over 30 minutes at 10 miles per hour. And because of its awesome altimeter, it can hover at just 40 meters, allowing much closer observation than just standing on the shore with binoculars. Unless you can convince the whales to swim up really close, of course. Don't try this yourself though, amateurs are restricted to a minimum distance of 300 meters and the whales might get upset. You know what animals are like. On the other side of the world, Kiwi sheep farmer Brett Sanders has found that a drone is a great way to keep control of his flock. By mounting a horn on the drone, he can round up the sheep before heading out on his motorbike with his sheepdog to coax them across trickier ground. We think that's a brilliant use for a drone, and if you have any stories just like that, or you're using your drone in weird and wonderful ways, then we would love to hear from you. Please tweet us at the underscore flight club. And until next week, goodbye. <laughs>